Here in the greater Boston area, we have a lot of public transit, but it's not without its issues. The rail stations are getting older, the rails themselves are corroding, the rail cars are breaking down and slowing down the whole T. The buses get overcrowded, the rails get overcrowded, and the stations, they, they smell bad. <laughs> but we are not without hope, Greater Boston, Cambridge, and Somerville resident <laughs> residents. Because after 10 years of advocacy, we finally have a few projects that are going to improve our aging T system. And the two I'm going to talk about today are the Green Line Extension and the Green Line Transformation Project. We make people mad. Currently, the Green Line runs from Leechmere and East Cambridge to various parts of Alston, Brighton, Brookline, and Boston. Before the Green Line Transformation Project was underway, I might have only recommended the Green Line of, say, you enjoy the human connection that can only come from being packed into a subway car. Or if you like the rough-and-tumble feeling of driving down a gravel road. Or if your walking speed could not be described as brisk. But since the city approved a budget of $8 billion to renovate and upgrade the MBTA system, and actually started doing a lot of work on the Green Line since 2018, the Green Line is actually becoming a pretty good transportation option. In 2018, 24 new modern Green Line cars were added to the Green Line system, and these are larger cars with easier accessibility and even some backup power systems to mitigate a lot of the issues that other Green Line cars had with breaking down in the middle of the track. Six and a half miles of Green Line track are being replaced between Beaconsfield and Riverside, and there's long-term plans to replace over 10 miles of track. On top of upgrading the tracks and the cars, they're also upgrading the signal systems, the stations themselves, they're improving accessibility, and the way you pay for your rail ticket. Just in general, hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars are being devoted to making the Green Line faster, and the project is going to extend into 2030 with the long-term plan of making the green line accessible to twice as many people. So the old green line is now going to look bright and shiny and new with all its new renovations, and that gives me hope for the new green line extension that's going to extend from Leechmere Station in Cambridge up into Somerville and up into Medford. The GLX is going to add six new T-stops that connect Leechmere Station to Tufts University and Union Square in Somerville. On top of that, the GLX project also will be extending the Somerville community path and connecting it to the new Leechmere station so that you can ride your bike or take a walk all across Cambridge and Somerville. So long term, our Green Line rail systems are going to get much, much better and they're going to be accessible by a lot more people. So if you enjoyed this video and want more info about Cambridge, Somerville, and the surrounding area, just feel, to, feel free to like and subscribe for more information like this. And if you're moving to the area, just use the information on the screen to reach out and we can help you out anytime. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Bye.